hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the constructor overloading in java so like uh, method overloading in java there is also an option to have multiple constructors with the same class where the constructors differ in uh, either number and types of parameter or you can say number or types of parameters that process is known as constructor overloading in java so now question is that why constructor overloading is needed in java well to know why constructor overloading is needed first let's be aware of one fact if any constructor is defined for a class then java won't define a default constructor right that fact we know default constructor for a class will only be inserted uh, in case no constructor is defined right so here you can see i have a class is called a student and i have a one argumented constructor or parameterized constructor in this case compiler is not gonna insert a default constructor right now here i have a client program here you can see i have created a an object by passing these three parameter right so there is no error now if i try to create a class by using the default constructor then th immediately we are getting a compilation error saying that complaining that the uh, the constructor student is undefined right and but if you comment this constructor then uh, if you comment this constructor thus then this error will go away right so th here there is no error but here error is coming because this constructor is not anymore right so if i save it then this line now by default that means by default there would be a default constructor but argument constructor will not be as a default behavior that you have to define right so that fact i hope you understood so here uh, if you look into this constructor so as you can see the uh, uh, this constructor basically uh, takes uh, three parameters in this case all the objects uh, in this class must we have uh, three parameters right so you cannot create another uh, another object with by passing two or one parameter or by using the default constructor by uh, passing no parameter right so so basically when i try to uncomment this co code then this will be invalid because uh, as i already told you if any constructor is defined for a class then java won't define a default constructor right in this type of situation where you may want to initialize objects with different number of parameters right or no parameter at all overloaded constructor are required so a practical example of constructor overloading in java would be array list class where there are uh, two constructor related to initial capacity so if you press ctrl shift t and try to search a uh, array list array list that is in the util package then here you will have to press ctrl o and here you can see there is a two constructor so if you go to the this constructor here this constructor gives you a uh, privilege to pass uh, initial capacity right and uh, another constructor we have a uh, there you don't need to pass any uh, initial capacity but array list will be created here you can see the comment array list will be created of initial capacity of 10 right so basically this is the one of the beautiful example of uh, basically uh, how basically create an array list with the initial capacity of 10 right so one of the case where user here developer can pass the initial capacity uh, for a for a array list right here you can pass a developer as the initial capacity to create an object of array list or in another case where user can use no arg no arg con constructor uh, and array list would have the default initial capacity of 10 and this is the beautiful example even if you go to the even vector you will get the same kind of concept right so i hope you understood why constructor overloading is needed in java right and uh, what's the importance of constructor overloading so here basically we have only one constructor but here when you try to create uh, basically another object right on a, another object of uh, a student then you need to either uh, you need to pass three parameter which constructor is available so matching parameter will have to pass else you can create a default constructor over here 
so I, I have chosen the creating a default constructor over here then error will go away right so let's say default constructor I'm going to add in the sorry so I'm going to add in the beginning so just for better reliability and uh, if you look into the here error has gone right and if we, I try to print a uh, state of object in this ca case student 2 then everything will be printed as a null and that's the default value of instance variable right now here if I print in second case everything you get as a null because every instance variable has some default value and this is type of class right and for this kind of type of instance variable uh, default value would be always none so i hope you understood this example uh, guys big thank you for watching this video and if you really like this video then don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe my youtube channel